Welcome back out here at Shivers Park in downtown Chipley, Florida for the second annual Art Could Do. Here right now with Matt Bonner of Early Learning Coalition. I don't know what her name is, but she's part of the scene right now. And we're having a ball. We've probably tripled the crowd from last year. Wow. Matt, are you having fun out here today? Oh, absolutely. It's a blast. This year, you've incorporated a whole lot more into the event. Um, there are, um, the ROTC was out here. Yeah. We've got um, uh, the explorers from the sheriff's office. Right. All these folks being a part of the event. Looks like you've got more providers, more child care providers yeah. out here this year. Right. Um, what are your overall thoughts about the success of this year's event? Well, you can obviously the success because it's grown so much just in the second year. So I think uh, having the VPK program uh, eligibility determination and are passing out COEs for that, I think that's drawn a, a huge crowd this year. Yeah, and let me interrupt you right mm -hmm. there. That's a huge component. Ordinarily, mm -hmm. someone who wants to avail themselves of your services have to, has right. to go to one of your main offices, right. sometimes go through a process which takes hours and hours mm -hmm. only because there's a lot of people there waiting. Right. You gave them an opportunity today to kind of take the fast track, to get right. uh, pre-qualified for some of these services. Mm -hmm. um, that has got to be huge. It looks like you had a line there most of the time. Right. I think we had about 75 uh, certificates of eligibility uh, distributed today. Um, and so that's going to be just that much uh, less of a crowd having to get seen through the offices. So that'll help uh, alleviate some of that weight that we think in the offices. Yeah, so you're sort of helping yourself and your staff as much as you are helping the uh, consumer. Right. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. But, but most importantly, the consumer. Oh, yeah. sure. Right next to us, a little bit of noise. We've got the cotton candy machine right now. Yep. You guys gave out uh, hot dogs and uh, uh, cotton candy mm -hmm. and drinks uh, yep. for a, a dollar today, which is obviously probably less than cost. They availed themselves. Hot dogs ran out quite a uh, while ago. Oh, oh, yeah. They were popular. Mm -hmm. What have you heard in the way of comments from people that have come to enjoy the event this year? Uh, well, just just appreciative of, of the opportunity to come out on a, you know, a free event. You don't get too many of those. And just to uh, just to have a great day in a great place and uh, just enjoy enjoy the, uh, the community. Congratulations on your second annual. Um, Thanks, I buddy. know you're going forward with this. It's going to yep. be uh, here for many years. We had the fortune of working with Kids Fest when it first started in Panama uh, City. Yep. Uh, now in its 20-something year, yeah. I see this event ultimately becoming another Kids Fest. Oh, is that yeah? Well, it possibly could. We're uh, this is kind of how Kids Fest started, I, I think, uh, many years back, and just uh, you know a, a small community event. And then if, if we can con continue to grow it and continue to offer the free program with the community support. I think, it, I think it could grow to something like that. Looking around, you're going to outgrow Shivers Park pretty quickly. <laughs> right. uh, we're probably going to be looking at Powell's Park or maybe the campus of Washington Homes Technical Center. Uh -huh. There are some other opportunities. Right. Again, congratulations to you, Susan Gage, Lynn Eldridge, everybody from ELC. Uh, way too many who have been here and contributed to mention. Mm -hmm. But uh, we look forward to seeing you next year. Understand that you're getting relocated here yeah, soon, yeah. moving to South Florida. Right, right. So we're going to miss you locally, but uh, hopefully you're going to get plugged back in with ELC down there in Central Florida. Yeah. And uh, thanks for all that you do. Well, thank you, Paul. We appreciate your support, too. Here today at the mm -hmm. second annual uh, Early Learning Coalition Art Cadu. Uh, hosted this year by the Washington County Arts Council, Early Learning Coalition, Stay Well, uh, Walmart, and Head Start, all community partners, all without whom we could not do this event. All day long we've been saying this is a free event, but it's not free to put on. Uh, a lot of people came to the table giving money and That's goods right. and right. services to make this happen. Yeah. Stay tuned. You're going to have all the information for the upcoming next year's third annual Art Cadu, and we'll be right back. <laughs>